They moved to North Texas in a suburb for peace and tranquility. That was the goal. But nearly a thousand homeowners in a Rowlett subdivision worry that a proposed industrial park will transform their neighborhood into something unsafe and undesirable. CBS 11's J.D. Miles, Rowlett City Hall tonight, uh, understanding efforts underway there to roll back basically a city council decision. Mm -hmm. Well, Doug, it all comes down to if you move into a new neighborhood, you want to know what's going to be built around you. And you can usually find out by looking at a city's comprehensive plan. Some Rowlett residents say the city has adjusted its plan to accommodate an unwelcome industrial park. Uh, we're not going to go away. Uh, I would tell you that we are not anti-development. Homeowners laid in to the Rowlett City Council during Tuesday night's meeting. No one wants this coming. They feel betrayed by a city decision to rezone 170 acres off the Bush Turnpike and Merritt Road so an industrial park can be built near the homestead at Liberty Grove neighborhood. We don't want it. It's not the right development for Rowlett. It's not going to bring jobs that can afford the average rent nor the average mortgage uh, for Rowlett. It's going to bring a lot of 18-wheeler congestion, damage to the roads, light pollution, noise pollution, and air pollution. Alyssa Wiesner and nearly a thousand other homeowners have signed a petition asking the city council to reconsider a decision last month to rezone the land for an industrial park. The project promises to bring in jobs, but concerns about truck traffic have homeowners like Jeremy Smith wondering why the city can't find a better place for the development. My biggest fear is an accident. Uh, we presented a, a basically analysis of trucks leaving George Bush Turnpike off of Merritt Road, and it's approximately about 500 feet until there's a right turn to get into that planned development. Despite a long line of public speakers here tonight, this issue was not on the formal council agenda, so it might take a, a lawsuit, which residents are threatening to block this project from moving forward. Live in Rowlett tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you. The 